In addition to finding a given term in a geometric sequence, there are other calculations you'll confront. Here we'll look at some of these. In this question, we're given a geometric sequence showing the first term and the sixth term, and we're asked to find the missing terms and fill them in. We'll identify negative 384 as term 1 and 12 as term 6. We'll use the equation for the nth term of a geometric sequence and the information given to find the common ratio r. We'll set the term number n as term 6. Term a6 is 12, term a1 is negative 384, and the exponent 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. We'll rearrange the equation to solve for r to the fifth. r to the fifth equals 12 divided by negative 384. If we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 12 and put the negative sign in front of the fraction, we get r to the fifth equals negative 1 32nd. Taking the fifth root of both sides gives us r equals the fifth root of negative 1 32nd. You should recognize the fifth root of 32 as being 2, and of course the fifth root of 1 is 1. It's also useful to know that the odd root of a negative number is negative. Therefore, r equals negative one-half. You can check this by raising negative one-half to the fifth power, and it comes out to negative one-thirty-second. To get term two, we multiply term one by r, which is negative one-half. Negative 384 times negative one-half gives us positive 192. 192 times negative one-half gives us negative 96. Negative 96 times negative one-half gives us positive 48. And positive 48 times negative 1 half gives us negative 24. Negative 24 times negative 1 half gives us 12, which is the original term A6. So now we've found the four missing terms in this geometric sequence and filled in the blank spaces with them. Here's another question. We're given that the third term in a geometric sequence is 16,384 and the sixth term is negative 256, and we're asked to find the tenth term. We'll note in here that a3 is 16,384, and a6 is negative 256. For both of these, we can use the formula an equals a1 times r to the n minus 1. Our strategy here involves knowing that these are in the same sequence. So the first term of the sequence a1 will be the same for both of these. We'll substitute 3 for n in the equation for term 3. The third term is 16,384, and the exponent 3 minus 1 equals 2. Solving for a1, we get a1 equals 16,384 over r squared. Now we'll look at the sixth term. It's negative 256. Again, we'll start with the equation for the nth term in a geometric sequence. Since we're dealing with the sixth term, we'll substitute six for both ends in the formula. Term a6 is negative 256, and the exponent six minus one equals five. Solving the equation for a1, we get a1 equals negative 256 over r to the fifth. Now we have two different expressions that are both equal to a1. Therefore, we can say that these two expressions are equal to each other we can use this fact to find the value of the common ratio r. We'll start with this equation here. We'll rearrange it to get r to the fifth over r squared equals negative 256 over 16,384. r to the fifth over r squared equals r cubed, and negative 256 over 16,384 is equal to negative 0.015625. Taking the cube root of both sides, we get r equals the cube root of negative 0 0.015625, which is negative 0.25. So now we know that r equals negative 0.25. Now that we know the value for r, we can find the value for term a1 using the equation a1 is 16,384 over r squared. We'll write the equation here we'll substitute negative 0.25 for r. 16,384 divided by negative 0.25 squared works out 
to 262,144. So A1 equals 262,144. Our last step is to find the value of the nth term, A10. We'll start with the formula A10 equals A1 times R to the power of 10 minus 1. We'll substitute 262,144 for A1 and the exponent 9 for the exponent 10 minus 1. And we'll substitute negative 0.25 for R. Working this out, we get A10 equals negative 1. So we'll summarize by stating that the tenth term of this sequence is equal to negative 1. We have one more type of problem to look at. We're given that the first three terms of a geometric sequence are x plus 1, x plus 13, and x plus 49. We're asked to determine the numerical values of these terms and state the value of the fourth term. We can solve this problem starting with the common ratio r r is equal to the ratio of term 2 to term 1, which is equal to the ratio of term 3 to term 2. The ratio of term 2 to term 1 is x plus 13 over x plus 1, and the ratio of term 3 to term 2 is x plus 49 over x plus 13. Cross multiplying gives us x plus 13 in brackets squared, equals x plus 1 times x plus 49. Expanding everything gives us this equation. We can cancel the x squared term from both sides. So we're left with 26x plus 169 equals 50x plus 49. Simplifying this gives us 120 equals 24x. So x equals 120 divided by 24, which equals 5. So we know that x is equal to 5. We know that the first three terms are x plus 1, x plus 13, and x plus 49. We now know that x equals 5, so we'll substitute 5 for x in each of these terms. 5 plus 1 is 6, 5 plus 13 is 18, and 5 plus 49 is 54. So we can state that the numerical values of the first three terms are 6, 18, and 54. In order to find the value of the fourth term, we first determine the value of the common ratio r. r is the ratio of the second term to the first term, which is 18 over 6, which is equal to 3. So we know that r equals 3. Multiplying the value of the third term by r will give us the value for the fourth term. So the value of the fourth term, a4, is the third term, 54, times r, which is 54 times 3, which equals 162. So we can state that the value of the fourth term is 162. So now we've answered both questions. The numerical values of the first three terms are 6, 18, and 54, and the value of the fourth term is 162.